Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading. Uh, I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. Um, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. I also have a Virgo-only channel. The link is below. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway on this channel. Um, I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. So just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below. Okay, winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page. Um... What I would also want to tell you guys, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Uh, I do not take personal readings. So any phone numbers that you see in the comment section are not me. If anyone reaches out to you on social media, it is also not me, okay? Um, if you absolutely need a reading, you could visit Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot. Many of you watch her anyway. Um, she has $10 off readings, so you can check her out if you would like to, okay? Uh, other than that, let's get started. So we're going to do an oracle reading on your person. We're going to do tarot, and then I'm going to do cancer and all 12 signs at the end. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get pop in here. Spirit, tell me about cancer's person, please. Tell me about cancer's person, please. What do we need to know here today about cancer's person? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about cancer's person, please. Okay. We have regret. We've got it's not over. We have secret. We've got genuine love. We have children. We have apology. All right, well, Cancer, this is what's on your person's mind. They are, in fact, having a lot of regret. I don't know what they did, but they do regret it. Okay, it's not over. I feel like Cancer, this person loves you to an extent where you've only seen the tip of the iceberg. You may not believe it, okay? You may not believe it. I know you're going to yell at me in the comment, Gina, you don't even know what this person has put me through. I believe you, okay? I believe you. But I feel like, look at how this person's laughing and holding the finger. This person likes to keep you on your toes. For whatever reason, we're dealing with somebody here that likes you to believe that they don't give a shit about you. I don't know how that makes any sense. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not here to pick people's brains. I'm just here to tell you how this person thinks, okay? Whether it's right or wrong, there's nothing I can do about it. That's the way they think. Okay. They don't like to tell you how much you mean to them. They like to see you go nuts. They like to see you on your toes. They like to see you, um, scared and panicking that you don't love them. They know this is, you may have children with this person. Okay. But I'm getting more of an energy of immaturity here. Okay. Immaturity. Some of you may have twins with this boy, uh, person, a boy and a girl, or just two children with this person, a boy and a girl. For others of you, you could have known this person since childhood, high school sweethearts or something like that. Okay. Others of you could be pregnant right now, but for the most part, for the most part, guys, cancer, uh, I am feeling like this person is very immature and I feel like they want to apologize for that. Because they have you sitting here believing that they don't love you. When it couldn't be farther from the truth. But that's their own doing. You know what I'm saying? That's their own doing. Tell me about Cancer's person, please. The X is in the reverse. We've got soul connection and we've got relationship. Cancer, if there was any issues with the past person, I feel like that's over. They're over it. I feel like this person feels a strong soul tie connection with you. This is someone that's gaining clarity. And, you know, if you did break up with this person, this breakup has caused them to realize here that um, they, they want you. They don't want this past person. Okay, they're realizing here that whatever happened in the past, if there was an ex that was lingering or whatever the case may be, that person has to go. 
that person has to go. So, you know, that may resonate with some of you that may resonate with others of you, but you know, I feel like this person feels a strong soul tie connection with you. This person has genuine love for you. I feel like there may have been an ex here. Now the ex for me could be, you know, uh, people from the past. So it could be a friend. It could be a, a, a you know, uh, friends with benefits that they've had for a long time. This is someone that they did have a, you know, I feel more so a romantic tie with, I'm not going to lie, but they're, they're receiving clarity on this situation because you left the building. You left the building. You left with the genuine and true feeling of this person doesn't give a shit about me. And you're not wrong. You're not wrong, Cancer, because that's how they made you feel. That is how they made you feel. Okay, so whatever the truth is, you see what I'm saying? Ultimately, it's the way you make someone feel that matters. Do you understand? You could be in a relationship and you're not cheating, but if you make this your person believe that you are, like if you get off of work and you go out with your friends or stop by a bar or do whatever and you don't call your person, you don't let them know, you, you are very secretive and mysterious and you give this impression that you're cheating, you could genuinely not be cheating, but it's, it's the impression that you give off and it's how you make someone feel that's going to eventually lead to what they believe. Do you, are you guys following what I'm saying here? Okay. All right. So let's pull some Oracle on this spirit. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer's person. What do we need to know about cancer's person? What do we need to know about cancer's person? What do we need to know about cancer's person? What do we need to know about Cancer's person? What do we need to know? Okay. No with an exclamation point. And we've got lost. They don't want to lose you. Cancer, this person does not want to lose you. They're like, no, I didn't. That's not what I wanted to happen at all. Okay. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. And then we've got chaos and conflict and we have community. Okay. Cancer, I feel like you're going to find out something with luck is on your side. A truth is going to come out. A truth is going to come out and it, all hell is going to break loose. It's going to happen over a third party energy. Somebody that they're claiming is just a friend. Okay. And again, we have children here. Okay. So this could be a baby mama, baby daddy that's getting in the way. This could be someone that you have children with. And ironically, I'm seeing a boy and a girl again. Okay. So this could be someone that they've known since childhood. This could be someone that you've known since childhood. There's something involving children, but it could also be an energy of immaturity. We've got thoughts here and we've got the bear. Um, so cancer, I feel like this person is coming into an energy where they're realizing that they need to protect you, that this is a connection that, that they don't want this past person to come in. They don't want to lose you over this past person. And they're thinking here and they're realizing I, I have to make a choice. Either I'm going to protect my connection with this past person or I'm going to protect my connection with cancer. Okay. So we've got girl talk here. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. Oh, cancer, you are minding your business to the max. You don't give a shit about nobody. You are really done. You are really done. A truth is going to come out. And you know what, Cancer, you're going to feel fortunate that you found out this truth because now you could go about your merry life. Okay. Dirty, dirty on this person. Ooh, yikes. STD or infection. Your person may have, be careful, Cancer, if you sleep with this person again, they may have an STD or infection. They may have caught something from that third party. Or maybe it could be that this happened and that's how you found out that they were messing with someone else. I really hope, Cancer, that you didn't get the STD and that's how you found out. Give me one more on that. They have more money than you. Someone here could be with somebody because of money. Yeah, someone may be choosing one connection over the other because of money. 
All right. Well, let's let's see what else we have here. Let's get into the tarot, okay? Let's do a little more digging and we, let's see what we can find out. Yeah, guys, I don't know. I hate when that STD card comes out. It bugs me out. Be careful, guys. All right, let's see what we have here for the tarot. I feel like for this one, we should pull this. This card always, the, these cards always kind of lay it on deep. All right, no, thank you. Okay. All right, Spirit, tell me about Cancer's person, please. Tell me about the person on Cancer's mind, please. What do we need to know? about the, per the person on cancer's mind please what do we need to know about the person on cancer's mind please what do we need to know about the person on cancer's mind please what do we need to know about the person on cancer's mind please okay king of wands and the queen of pentacles we could be dealing with a leo sag aries capricorn taurus virgo um, we've got the ten of pentacles and the six of swords in the reverse We've got the Page of Wands and we've got Temperance. Tell me about the can the person on Cancer's mind. The person on Cancer's mind. Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. Tell me about the person on Cancer's mind. The Four of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Tell me about the person on Cancer's mind, the Nine of Cups, and the Page of Swords. We have the Justice card, Libra energy, the Star card, Aquarian energy, and the Hierophant, uh, Taurus energy. We could be dealing with the Sag, the Ten of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles, and there's that Queen of Cups, so there's you, Cancer, okay, Death card. All right, well, the overall energy of this cancer is this person's wanting to come in and do the right thing. This person's hoping to marry you. Like they may be coming in literally proposing marriage or, you know, offering some level of high commitment. Like let's move in together. Let's get engaged. Let's, you know, some very serious promise is being offered here. Okay. So let's see what we have in the past position for your person. So we've got the King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Cups. So this isn't exactly a true pair, but it is two people that are committed to each other, okay? So I feel like, Cancer, you are more of the one. That, there's definitely an energy here where one person is more outgoing, wants attention, pays more attention to their appearance type of thing. And Cancer, you might be more in an energy of focusing on your household, nurturing others, working, taking care of responsibilities. With the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups, I feel like, you know, there was romance here. There's a relationship here. There was love here. There is a soul tie energy here. Even if you guys aren't a true pair. In this case, I don't know, opposites may attract type of thing okay king of wands and the queen of pentacles is two totally different energies okay um so i feel like in the recent past i mean i feel like there was a, a good relationship between you guys but i feel like the reason why you guys aren't a true pair is because you know this person maybe their their energy is somewhere else let's see i want to clarify that tell me about this king of wands We've got the world card. <laughs> what did I just say? You can't make this up. You can't make this up. This king of wands was the king of wands in a relationship somewhere else. Okay. World card and the king of pentacles. So we're dealing with someone here that needed, they were in a relationship with you cancer, but they still needed to shut out a different situation in order to be the king and queen of pentacles with you. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, the problem here is cancer is that you're a very intuitive sign and you know this, the high priestess and the devil. You're an extremely intuitive sign. Some of you could be tarot readers or light workers, but you can sense the lie. You can sense the deception. You can sense that this person's energy is elsewhere. 
Do you see what I'm saying? Even though with the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups, with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, even though this person is telling you they love you, a lot of emotion there. This person's very affectionate, very, very, a lot of very good with talking and showing you gift giving, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, even though they're telling you and showing you, I want full blown commitment with you. We have the lover's card here. Gemini energy, this is Adam, Eve, and the snake. And then the knight of wands. They still have their eyes somewhere else. They still have their mind, their heart, their energy is somewhere else. And with that world card, that needs to be closed out in order for them to truly sit in the throne with you as a true pair, king and queen of pentacles. I had a feeling when I, that's why I wanted to clarify right away because it didn't sit right with me. It's like two separate energies. So yeah, that King of Wands is a King of Wands that's committed to something else. And, you know, they need to end that in order to sit next to the throne with you, okay? Now, what we have here, Cancer, in the present moment, Six of Swords in the reverse, this person wants to come back. Uh, but with the Four of Cups and the Queen of Swords, I don't feel like you're interested. I don't feel like you're interested. Ten of Pentacles, you know, Cancer, I gotta be honest with you, some of you may be coming back around because you're more financially abundant or you can provide a more financially abundant future. Now, Cancer, you may be in school for something, a masseuse or whatever. And this person knows that, you know, when you're done with school, you're going to have a solid future, you know, a steady job. This person may know that you're coming into an inheritance at some point in time and you're going to be rich, you know, whenever that happens. And that's why, or you may have a good paying job at the moment, or, you know, you have your own apartment, your own car, whatever, you're independent. And this person, you know, wants to be able to enjoy that with you. Okay, whatever it is, I feel like you've got more than this relationship that they're leaving behind. There's more chance of having a solid and stable future with you. And see, Cancer, you don't want it because look at this four of cups. They're holding a cup here. I don't know if you can see that. They're holding a cup and they're looking at you. Do you understand? So you don't want it because you know that this person's holding on to something. They're looking at you. You're distracting them from whatever situation they were in, but they're still holding that cup. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're still holding that cup. You see, Cancer, with you, they see the Wheel of Fortune and they see that Emperor energy. They see that, you know, they can live well with you. You respect this person. You put them on a throne. You make them the center of your intention, uh, uh, you know, the center of your world. A lot of Cancers love in that way. It's hard to find that type of love, okay? It doesn't happen, you know, all day, every day, okay? Okay. So I feel, Cancer, that you sense this. You know that this person's not really choosing you for love, okay? We've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here. I feel like that's what you can provide, Cancer. You can provide that long-term, stable, you know, emotional and financial uh, empire with this person okay two of pentacles and the four of cups the eight of cups and the queen of swords i feel like you're in an energy where you feel like you just can't trust this person and you feel like it's better off to just walk away you know what i'm saying you may feel like it's better off you know the sun card and the five of swords you may feel that you'll be happier without this person yeah you might for you that's the energy that you're in right now okay Tell me about this page of wands. Tell me about this page of wands. Tell me about this page of wands. We've got the six of pentacles. Tell me about this nine of cups and the hermit. <sighs> Cancer, we're dealing with someone here that's really taking some time out to reflect, doing the soul searching, doing the shadow work. They're trying to figure out what they really want. They're trying to figure out what they really want. Page of Wands and the Six of Pentacles with the Judgment card. This is someone that is, it has to make a decision and they want to talk to you. This person wants to have a conversation with you. Um, they do. They want to have a conversation with you. They want to tell you that they're making a final judgment call. Six of Pentacles, this person could have been giving to two different situations and they need to figure out where they would be happier. And I feel like they feel that that's with you temperance and the three of wands this person just wants peace with you cancer they see a future with you and they want peace with you um 
the page of swords the queen of cups and the empress to the emperor now they are telling you the truth when they tell you that they want to marry you they are telling you the truth um when they say that they want long term seven of cups the queen of wands the six of cups and the ace of wands and the five of cups with the seven of swords i'm not gonna lie to you cancer this person uh lied to you multiple times they were having sex with an ex or they were remaining in communication with an ex either way they lied to you they were sneaking around behind your back whether it was sex or communication they were doing something that they should not have been doing okay but with that knight of pentacles energy here and the five of pentacles you leaving this person behind and truly disconnecting your energy is making them straighten up here Okay, it's making them straighten up here. Yeah, because we've got the magician and the hanged man. You may have been fooled for some time, but now you know the truth. Moon card and the magician, you know that this person was playing with you. Five of wands and the knight of swords. I feel some ugly words being exchanged here. I do see a bad fight. Full card and the ten of swords. I feel like you've had enough. You're moving on, doing what you need to do. Nine of wands and the tower. They can't believe that you're really blocking them. They can't believe that you're really blocking them. And, you know, being that they didn't want to make a decision, you're making it for them. That's the bottom line. Chariot and the four of pentacles, they're going to chase you. They're going to chase you because they don't want to let you go. But at the same time, with that three of swords and that, you know, uh, six of wands energy, they don't know if they're going to win this battle because they know that they hurt you really badly. Okay. They know that they hurt you really badly, Cancer. Um, so let's just go ahead and see if there's going to be any type of reconciliation. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, I do feel like they're going to come in to commit to you, but let's just see what's going to happen with that queen of wands energy. Is it really over? Will there be reconciliation? And then we'll go ahead and get into, um, all 12 signs. Okay. I do. I mean, I do feel like they're being honest about wanting a future with you, you know, but someone that wants to get married doesn't always mean that they're going to change. It just means that they, you know, may feel like they just have to be smarter when it comes down to, you know, cheating or something. I don't know. So what do we see happening here with this queen of wands? Is it really over with this queen of wands energy, please, spirit? Is it really over with this queen of wands energy? Ten of wands. Queen of Cups in the reverse and the Knight of Wands. I do feel like your person's tired of emotionally manipulating you and playing games behind your back. They're realizing that they can't do it anymore. They're realizing that you're sick of it. Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, they're going to talk. Yeah, they're going to talk to this Queen of Wands and they're going to say, listen, I'm really sorry, but I have to cut this off. I have to cut this off because I've been giving my time and attention to you and to cancer and I want to reconcile with cancer. Cancer's really done with me. Cancer's really done with me and that I can't accept and that I can't accept. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so I feel like I feel like a conversation is going to happen between uh, your person and this queen of wands energy and your person's going to say, listen, I care about you. I love you, but I can, uh, cancer's tired of being lied to and emotionally manipulated. Cancer's falling out of love with me. Um, and I can't, you know, I can't, I can't lose cancer, you know, so they are going to disconnect from that queen of wands. Do we see reconciliation and long-term here between cancer and their person? I feel like both of you are not going to be able to forget each other because when you see the four of wands with the emperor and the empress, guys, that's twin flame, twin soul. That's definitely a very strong soul tie. This person had a choice between two, two of pentacles and the two of wands, and they're choosing. Not by choice, <laughs> queen of swords. You had to put a knife to their throat, but they're choosing. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do cancer and all 12 signs. Spirit, tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs, please. Tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs, please. Cancer and all 12 signs, please. Tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs, please, Spirit. Cancer and all 12 signs. Oh, what am I doing? 
Cancer and the Five of Cups just popped out, by the way. Cancer and all 12 signs in love. Cancer and all 12 signs in love. Aries to Pisces. Okay. If we're dealing with an Aries, the High Priestess, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Cups, this person is still getting over an ex. They're still suffering. They think about this ex when they're, you know, at night. They Maybe they have still have dreams about their ex. If we're dealing with a Taurus... Three of Cups, Two of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. You guys are going to reconcile, uh, and it's going to be stable, committed, and long-term from that point forward. Or you guys are going to be announcing um, that you're having a child or that you're getting married. If we're dealing with the Gemini, the Moon card, the Five of Wands, and the Sun, a truth is coming out, and shit's about to hit the fan. If we're dealing with a Cancer, we've got the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Hanged Man. No communication. No, someone here doesn't want to talk. They don't want to do anything here. That it's, it's the connection is stagnant. If we're dealing with a Leo, um, if we're dealing with a Leo, Ten of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Lovers card. This connection, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Leo, is going to be so beautiful that people are going to be jealous of it. So be careful, okay? If we're dealing with a Virgo, we've got the Death card, we've got the Knight of Wands, and the Justice card. Something here is ending. Someone is paying their karma because they wanted to play games. Now, it could be, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Virgo, that this is someone that's willing to change and do right by you, or something's ending here because they were a player, okay? If we're dealing with a Libra, five of swords the three of swords and the queen of pentacles if you're committed to this libra cancer um this is someone that likes to uh hurt you this is someone that likes to hurt you you know what i'm saying and i feel like you know cancer maybe you don't feed, feed into it maybe you're not paying attention maybe you're busy doing other things like this is someone that maybe blows up on you um I don't know. I feel like this is someone that likes to hurt your feelings. And I feel like, you know, Cancer, you remain loyal to, to it. Or you don't answer back. You don't try to get revenge or anything. You just kind of deal with it. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, I got something in my eye. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like... Um, Somebody here is leaving something behind and moving to a more peaceful place. But I do feel like there's one person that is expecting this to come back around. They're expecting an apology, but the other person is moving on, moving away. They're done with it. If we're dealing, what is in my eyeball? If we're dealing with the Sag, Six of Wands, the Star card, and the Page of Swords, uh, someone here is watching the other person, stalking on social media, looking at pictures. If we're dealing uh, with a Capricorn, King of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Ace of Swords, someone's realizing that they're in love and they're about to make some type of decision. Either it's reconciliation or, you know, moving to high levels of commitment. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Swords. So, Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, it could be that this person's looking for a trophy wife, a sugar mama, sugar daddy, something along those lines. Or it could be that this person's married, they have a life set up for themselves, and they want you as a side piece. Okay? Uh, one more on that. The Nine of Cups. This person may just find you very attractive and they want forever with you. I don't know. You take it as it resonates. It could go multiple ways. If we're dealing with a Pisces, the Emperor, the Ace of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Pisces, y'all are about to get married. You might be meeting a single father or a single mother. You guys are going to be falling in love. One date is going to turn into forever. Okay? All right, guys. I love you all so much and I will see you soon. Take care, my loves.